The Battle of Warsaw is hugely significant, not only for Polish history, but in a much wider sense for European history as a whole. Uh, for Poland itself, of course, the, the, the victory uh, against the Soviets outside Warsaw secures Poland's existence uh, in the interwar period. Um, you know, Poland was facing a, a genuine existential threat uh, with the Soviet invasion in 1920. And it's quite easy to imagine that had the Soviets won uh, that engagement outside Warsaw, uh, then you know, Polish independence, which had been you know, regained after 1918, after the collapse of the partitioning powers, uh, that, that independence would have been short-lived and that uh, Poland would have certainly fall un fallen under the, uh, in into the communist sphere. Uh, and arguably could even have been subsumed into the wider Soviet Union. Um, in a wider sense, um, the Battle of Warsaw is crucial in preventing the spread of communism westward in 1920. And to address that issue, we have to understand two things. The first, first thing is the, the chaos, the political and economic chaos that was prevailing in Germany at the time. And secondarily, the significance that Germany had in Marxist-Leninist ideology. But to look at the first point, um, Germany in 1920 was in the throes of uh, long-term political and economic turmoil. This is the, the long tail of the First World War. Um, the revolution in Germany in 1918, of course, had toppled the, the Hohenzollerns, toppled the German Empire, and, and uh, the uh, Republic had been formed, the Weimar Republic. Um, which was beset from all sides throughout this period um, by political attacks and by economic uh, disruption and economic chaos. Uh, 1920 is not yet the, the real crisis year, which of course is 1923, when incidentally Adolf Hitler makes his first uh, emergence into, uh, into uh, German and world politics. Uh, but 1920 is still a crisis year. The economic uh, situation is, is very unstable in Germany. Uh, and uh, the Weimar Republic is beset on both sides by, by political challenges. Uh, on the left, from the, the Ruhr uprising in the spring of 19, 1920, and at the same time, uh, on the right, from the Kapp Putsch, which sought to overthrow the Weimar Republic. So, so Germany, crucially, is in economic and political turmoil at this time. Now, this, from, from the Soviet perspective, uh, is a huge opportunity, because... Uh, Marxist-Leninist ideology holds that the revolution uh, is best served by being spread to Germany. Uh, bear in mind, of course, that Marxist-Leninism held that uh, uh, the, the revolution would come uh, in a state which was uh, highly industrialised, with a very developed and politicised uh, uh, proletariat. And then, of course, when the revolution happens in Russia, it happens in a state which is predominantly agrarian. So this in ideological terms, doesn't really make sense. So the imperative for the gentlemen of the Kremlin is to try and spread the revolution westward and spread it ideally to a country which fulfills those criteria, which is highly industrialised and which has a highly developed and politicised proletariat, which is Germany. So it's imperative for the survival of the Soviet Union and for the, and for the propagation of communism in those terms to spread the revolution to Germany. So 1920 uh, is an ideal opportunity to do that. And you can see that in the uh, one of the orders of the day from Marshal Tukhachevsky uh, before the Battle of Warsaw, where he said, you know, onward over the corpse of white Poland. This is what he said, over the corpse of white Poland to worldwide conflagration. The intention is very obviously to ride past Poland westward and to spread communism into Germany at the point of the Red Army's bayonets. So to a large extent, Poland is just uh, collateral damage in this wider plan to spread communism westward. So in that sense, you can see how the Polish victory in the Battle of Warsaw is not only crucial for, for Poland's existence in 1920 and for a generation thereafter, but it's also crucial in forestalling that spread of communism westward. It stayed the Kremlin's expansionist ambitions for a generation.